Okay, thank you. There you go. Yeah, I'm uh, Jim Kimball. I've been in Idaho since 1947. Um, I'm a registered professional engineer, environmental engineer, graduated from U of I in 1968. Uh, jumped out with uh, I, the Department of Health. And back then, uh, Bunker Hill, you know, 1971, the bag house burnt down. Millions of pounds of lead went in the air, poisoned the kids. And, uh, but the response, this is a few years before that, uh, Bunker Hill had, uh, when they were going to expand the uh, zinc plant, was they were tired of the air pollution. And they said, the Bunker Hill people said, you can either have clean air or you can have jobs. And that was the attitude up there. And politically, it was a big one, all these jobs. So then I went uh, to in the private sector. But I found I had to have lots of hearings on sewers. I uh, was in hearing after hearing at Post Falls and Hayden that uh, in the State Department, I told you need sewers. And I jumped out in the private sector and got to design them because there's more money than with the state. And uh, so I have a hearing of 300 people, and I get people testify that, well, I cleaned my septic tank out. It's clean enough to eat out of. You know, I mean, that was the mentality back there that uh, they didn't want to pay the $15 a month to get a sewer system in. So I had to educate and educate and educate. Now, also, uh, there's this book called Zero. It says, The Biography of a Dangerous Idea. And, you know, there's a lot of religion uh, back then that, like uh, Galileo, I think it was, well, the, the sun, uh, the, the earth revolved around the sun, and where the sun revolved, you know, that controversy, it doesn't happen. And then uh, zero, when that came up, they could kill you. Actually, Pythagorean time, uh, but they didn't talk about irrational numbers because it was anti-establishment. And zero, uh, actually other countries uh, than the Western world uh, the religious world were jumped ahead. The Arabic, uh, they accepted zero and the whole thing took off. So here we have a group of people that you can't mix religion and science. And so uh, I'm also read uh, Nature Climate Change. Uh, this is a technical journal that talks about uh, the science is peer reviewed. There's a lot of stuff out there that's not peer reviewed. And there's a local weatherman that puts these articles out that aren't peer reviewed. He can distort the numbers, but he did actually come around and say, we better go green. He's getting a point. So my point is, and this is a little education thing, and this is a brick of pure carbon, okay? So you hear the comment that one gallon of gas puts out 20 pounds of carbon dioxide. And that's six pounds to a gallon. And I saw this, and I, I never did put it together. How can I get 20 pounds of carbon dioxide out of a of a gallon of gasoline. Well, when you add oxygen to it, so this is about seven pounds, I think, Russ, wasn't it? 5.68. 5 5.68. 5 so you'd have not quite one of these bricks in a gallon of gas. But see, when you add oxygen to it, you can't see it. So when I drove down here, my car, 20 miles per gallon, a round trip, I put about a gallon of gas in my car. I kicked one of these bricks out in my exhaust pipe. There's trillions of these things, not naturally. I think there's a reason why the carbon fossil fuels were covered up, and maybe we could use those over a period of time to survive through the next ice age. But we've added that. But you know, this was a real reality check for me and a good education that you know, and even people can't visualize because you can't see the two oxygens on there. And I don't know, maybe we got some airheads. I remember in the paper calling me an airhead because I believe in climate change, and it's a reality check, and I've been in this position many years in front of people just talking about plain old sewers, that if you don't keep dumping your stuff in a septic tank. Uh, so I know, Bob, we sparred a little bit at Post Falls, and you supported Post Falls sewering, and, and it's helped the city. So I know what you're up against. Politically, uh, I'm a Republican. Uh, I'm a moderate Republican, and uh, I see some real problems with our giveaway programs that uh, kids that come up, the, they call them millenniums, and, uh, but there's a lot of smart kids out there that we need to find jobs for, and uh, in the environmental field, we're going to have a big task for them. So thank you.